This video is sponsored by Walsworth. Hey there friends, Kara Pliginich here, and if you have ever wondered how to make a drop shadow in Illustrator, this video is for you. So I have a sticker sheet here with a few different objects on it. They are just grouped objects. And let's say we want to add a drop shadow to this guy right here. We're going to select it and come up to the effect menu and choose stylize drop shadow. We're going to see this little window pop up where we can choose a blend mode. I believe it is set to multiply by default. Here we can adjust the opacity. So we could type a number in here if we wanted this maybe 50%. We can also use these little up and down carrots. And if you don't want to sit here and tap on this all day, if you hold down the shift key, you can make these adjustments in 10% intervals. So it goes a little bit faster. Down here, we have the X and Y offset values. So you can use the values here to position the drop shadow where you want it. Here's a pro tip for you. We saw a minute ago that holding the shift key makes these adjustments larger. If you wanna make the adjustments smaller, you can hold down the command or control key. And then you can actually move things around in smaller increments. So super handy. Down below we have our blur settings. So if you need a blurry drop shadow, you can increase this or decrease it. And of course, right here, we can choose our color. So maybe I want a dark color similar to the background here. So I'll just choose that. And then you want to make sure previews on. If you don't see your drop shadow displayed here, then make sure you turn that on and you can click OK. So that looks super. If we want to make edits to this, we can find these settings now in the Appearance panel, which is also accessible from the window menu by choosing Appearance. So this is where the settings live. So if I select an object that doesn't have a drop shadow, we see there's no drop shadow listed in the Appearance panel. If I go back to the ice cream, there's a drop shadow. And if I want to change it, I can double click right here, make those changes, and click OK. Of course, it's helpful when we can take a style like a drop shadow and apply it to other objects. The best way to do that is with a graphic style. So I've got my ice cream, I've got the drop shadow applied, and now in the graphic styles dialog, which can be found from the window menu under graphic styles. Hey, hey, makes sense. Now we can create a new graphic style by clicking this little plus, which will add it here. Of course, that doesn't tell us much. It looks pretty much the same as some of these other ones. So to make it make more sense and have a better name than graphic style, we can double click to open it up and we can call it My Amazing Drop Shadow. And we'll click OK. Then I can select the other stickers and apply that same drop shadow by just clicking our new graphic style. Now, of course, if we decide we want to edit this style, well, how do we do that? So we could choose any one of these stickers that has the style applied to it. And with that sticker selected, we'll go up to the appearance panel, double click to change the setting. Let's say we want to make this yellow. That looks terrible, but maybe we love it. Let's change the blend mode to that. All right, so we've made some changes here, and then we'll click OK. Now, if we want to redefine the style so that all the other objects that have that same style applied will now look like this, you might think that you would do that in the graphic styles panel, but that is not where you do it you actually come back to the appearance panel, to the panel menu, and down second to last at the very bottom is redefine graphic style. So now when we click this, this style in the graphic styles panel will take on 
these new settings and everything will update. And just like that, you're done. Great job. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.